I'm at Black Magic again with Simon, and this year with them is the year of the 12 gig. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, behind Simon is a range of new products. Pretty much every sort of range, every sort of product area is being renewed. And why is that? Because they're now all 12 gig. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. <laughs> Everything is 12 gig, and that is really good. So now we're looking at um, single. Um, SDI cable, 4K, 60p, one cable. All this double cable, four cable, <laughs> out the door. We don't want to see it. We have a solution now. This is, you know, with all the 4K coming on board now, this year is very much about 4K in, in, you know, 4K in production is pretty much here. Like, it's very strong in the market now. In distribution, that's another story, but in production, that's pretty much where you need to go. Is that what you're finding, Simon? I think you've stolen all of the messages of the, of the conversation, James. That's exactly where it is. I think that, you know, it's now not a case of, um, you know, if Ultra HD is going to happen. Uh, it's a case of when, and we can answer the when question because it's happening right now. And we see this in all kind of markets, whether it's uh, digital signage or live events or, you know, um, the difficulty, as you allude to, is distribution still. There's still a lot of questions over how this is going to get into the homes of, of, of the customer. But I think that already there are questions that are starting to be answered by the satellite That's channel right. operators. That's and, right. you know, it's a lot easier for those guys to get the necessary bandwidth. That's so right. we're going to see those things happening very quickly. But what happens first is the acquisition and the production takes place in Ultra HD. And, and I'll have to say, like, um, coming to you now with your product range, I can very much easily see you, you, you've got an OB van, bang, you can set it up, all 12, all 12 G now, all yeah. the products are there, Yeah. right, you, you know, it, and that's a significant um, you know, of evolution of the market, um, and it really shows how um, that the 4K is coming on, like you're saying, in production. I, I, think, I think so, I mean, look, for this to be end to end, there can't be any gaps. That's right. That's right, and, and this is why it's significant again, Black Magic. you've just filled in all the gaps. Yeah. And that's, again, I, I'm, Black Magic. I think has done a lot of, done a lot of uh, well, shown itself to be a leader in this industry, and they have filled in all those gaps. You've got, you've got some other, we spoke about it before, I said, who else is doing 12G? Because mm. I haven't really heard a lot of them mm. from other companies. Can you comment on, on that? Yeah, not specifically by manufacturer. I'm not, I'm not yeah, familiar no. with a list of who's, of who's doing what. What I would say is we are starting to see it here, and we're seeing it at NAB uh, on a range of, of, of different devices. It makes perfect sense. You know, all of the, the um, additional cost of laying extra cables, That's if you right, yeah. dual link or quad link or, or whatever that may be, all of the extra cost, the heat, the noise and everything else about that means that really people are so used to using SDI within broadcast video environments or professional video production environments. SDI is the is the connection of choice well, within. It's, it's, and it's first, it's very, it's really well designed in terms of like. The SCI is there. All the cable is there. It's robust. It's, and it's right. It works. Reliable. You know, it works, and we know it's worked for forever for, in this market. Mm. And it's and if we are moving to 4K, this multi-cable solution, you can't really retrofit <laughs> that. You can't. You can't well, do it. Well, it's it's another huge aspect of yeah, cost. A, that's right. When you when you when you talk about that, and I think that so I think you know what what what's changed here, and as you say, so much of what we're talking about this year at NAB is is 12 gig. The, the difficulty in that is, of course, you know, it's expensive to make these 12 gig products. Um, you know, moving into 12 gig production often requires some redesign because you are dealing with extra heat. You know, within those products, a prime example of that is our new Terranex um, mini converter range, where we've de redesigned our mini converters to accommodate the fact that we're now doing 12 gig video through them. Um, there's a bunch of other features too, but yes. principally, the, the, the 12 gig capability demanded that we had a, a bigger box, and we were able to get some cooling into, uh, you know, into that system. So making 12 gig products is not easy. No. And 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 I think potentially that's one of the things that the reason why adoption has not been as as, as quick, well, say not as quick. You know, gosh, this is quick. It's still quick the way the way this is coming on stream. And we we were here last year at NAB, and we had one or two products where That's 12 right. gig was creeping in. That's right. But in the main, six gig was was, was, was kind of where we were. That's right. Well, um, that's why this is um, a significant development because I agree with you. 12 gig last year was interesting, and it's, oh, that's 12 gig interesting, but. 
six gig was pretty much the it was the glass ceiling we had mm, that year. Mm, yeah, it was. Yeah, and and so the fact is that glass ceiling, the fact that you have a full range of twelve gig, is a significant indication that that glass ceiling has now risen. Yeah, and it is now time for the industry to step up. Yeah, the one thing that Ultra HD demands, yes. and, and if you sort of if you look at kind of why this technology is essential rather than nice to have, is is that. Um, if you want to do Ultra HD, then really you need the, the high frame rates. You know, you need the smoothness of motion as well as well, the pixels. This is a, this is a, like I, I cover a lot of standards, etc. And this is a lot of thing I, I talk about in my blog, I actually yeah. promote. We need to start using high frame rates as a storytelling sure. um, technique yeah. because unfortunately, but absolutely true, when you get to um, the 4K capabilities, and the size of screen, etc., that you're getting in home, yep. that stutter effect starts to become extremely pronounced. And it's, again, if you talk about going to um, higher dynamic range with a higher, higher peak whites, etc., mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. only increases <laughs> that annoyance because the, the contrast is a lot bigger, so you see it a lot more. So unfortunately, a lot of people, there's a lot of resistance to high frame rate for some strange reason. I find it a bit. I, I can't understand it, but if you if you are going to these new standards and these new ways of distribution, we have to take high frame rate on board, and we have to take you know and 12 gig answers those needs. And but this is an evolution of our storytelling techniques and abilities. And um, if if anything, high frame rates, the message of high frame rates that you could get from like I've studied over the many years, mm, and I work mm, in cinema and they've mm. tested it, etc., is that. As a, if you're a production, you're a producer, you are making a movie and you are telling a story, you need to go start playing with high frame rates so you know how to use it as a storytelling mm. instrument. Because that's what it, it's a tool in your, bo in, your, in your box of tools. And you need to know, understand that tool before you know how it can have an emotional impact on your production. Sure. So, you know, that's just a side note. <laughs> but, um, but I think what, what, what that then given that that is the demand and i think it is agreed that the high frame rates are uh, you know almost a prerequisite of of ultra hd production what you then find is it is if you want to do 2160 p60 you know which is colossal bandwidth you need 12 gig you do because you can't do it on, on less That's right. so so what we're really doing here is we we're, we're laying down a platform that says we can go end to end through this entire entire production pipeline with 12 gig whether that is um a switcher yes a switcher <laughs> you know, 20 12 gig inputs on the in the, in the atem 2 me broadcast studio we've got um a, a video hub in 12 gigs so whatever you're moving around the facility and, and an interesting note about that one is it's completely universal and backwards compatible yeah. so yeah. anything that's lower than 12 gig will just work yeah just know that and that's true of pretty much everything we've got in the yeah. rack there because you know you still need to you know absolutely today in terms of the percentage of work that would be in ultra hd at those high frame rates is still a small um, percentage of, of, of production that's taking place. Uh, we always have to take care of legacy because a lot of our content is still in legacy formats yeah. and if we lock it out due to formats it's just you're leaving behind something of value yeah. and so you, you, it's, you can't afford not to adopt technology which keeps that door open yeah. and, and that's, that's a you know that's, SDI has been very good in that area in my, in my book and keeping those doors open but one last thing I wanted to mention about going to 12 gig is the Terranex mini converters are a big story here in going to 12 gig because 12 gigs all well and good in these high resolu high resolutions etc. But we need to display them cost effectively and easily, and that's where your new mini converters, the new 12 gig mini converters, although they're bigger and they had to take a bigger the heat of the 12 gig had a hit, and that hit was we needed to be bigger to pull the heat out. But instead of making that a penalty, they made it a plus. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you turn, put what they call the Terranex Mini in there, and what that allows it to do is it allows it to, uh, if you're plugging into a HDMI signal that is not of the same resolution or of the actual signal coming in, it will automatically scale it down to the monitor that you're plugging it into. So you can plug it into your domestic monitor, pretty much any HDMI monitor, you can send it the the 2160 <laughs> image, and you'll be able to see it like that out of this 
ter this uh, mini converter. Yeah. That's a very enabling product, and it's significant to the 12 gig story because 12 gig is it's like there's 12 gig, <laughs> and when you think one day I'm going to get there, well, it's not that hard, guys. Mm -hmm. There are products to bring you there. Sure. Right now, with the kit, with the kit you probably already have, and you can grow into it as your requirements come. So you can future proof some of your facility needs. If you're going to buy something, you're going to buy something 12 gig because you'll need to buy something 12 gig in a year or two years from now for sure. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> so, and this is another reason I like Black Magic's because I like the way Black Magic thinks because you know that's how you want your your vendor to think because they're not. They're not always pacing you out. Oh, I'm going to get them with an upgrade this year and an upgrade this year. No, this is we're going to go into a new area, and we're going to we're not going to go there. We're going to go out there, yeah. and that's impressive from Black Magic in the way they think. So, and their their input into standards and other aspects. I'm a bit bullish about Black Magic, not just because I come from Australia and they do too, but um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so thanks for that on. Um, on that story. Thanks, That's James. another good story. And um, anything else before we go you want to, want to say? No, I say I think you summed it up perfectly well and, and I thank you for your kind words with regards to our thinking. I think that the only thing we, we'd sort of add to that is that we're trying to make sure that, that it's free of a price penalty you know with we, we, the, the, these new Terranex minis they're four nine five dollars so so actually we take away um, you know some of the pain of, of, of thinking well can I future proof in the in this standard in this area and if we can take that away and it's no longer a consideration you know you can work with all the formats that you need to work to then you can you can move into those, those um, that higher resolution, those higher frame rates, you can move as you want to move into That's it. Right, you haven't yeah. got to do it all at once. That's exactly you can, right. You can absolutely That's step right. into it as you need to. And I think you know you very much understand. I think where where our philosophy and our thinking is behind the way that that we piece these products together with 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 always thinking about you know the customer's needs in mind. Well, thank you very much, Simon. Thanks, James. Um, this is again. Uh, Cinetech Geek at Black Magic for NAB 2015. Bye for now.